It's Emily's tree. Nice. This is perfect. Yeah, it was clear it. it was a dedication I to both you of them. Said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who that makes made sense. all the arrangements. Peter that makes Parker. sense. There's Norman. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you. I, I mean, technically, yes. <laughs> And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Particle accelerator? All right. I, I like the design. Dad, I like all the greenery. He hasn't That's decided nice. He's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. That's fair. All right. I'm still wondering if they're going to set up for uh, Norman becoming you know, Green Goblin eventually. Seeing you boys. Whether in this game or even maybe the next one. Right then. Have fun. Get your because out. both in the first game and now this one, he actually seems mostly nice. <laughs> So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Okay. Harry, this place, right? It looks it gorgeous. A little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment. Ah. Uh... When I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects. Installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track. Well, that's good. And made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research. I don't know what that is. Or Tell to me. Be more precise, on bee predators. Yes. Is it Catherine? insect yes. research? <laughs> ready to talk to Dr. Young? As ready as I'm gonna be. Hello? You must be Peter. It's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. Yeah, But yeah. worldwide populations are in steep decline. Also true. to a significant predator. Humans? Carnivorous bee wolf. The what? So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. What is a bee wolf? It was that that wasp looking thing you showed me? Also, wow, it's a, it's a... It's a PlayStation controller. Fun. This is cool. Drone? These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained oh. to detect and attack bee wolves. You. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with They the are shooting. they are a type of wasp, okay. Can you see those little holographic bee wolves? I'm already getting them. The better our drones get at recognizing what to so just on this level? The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves and not hurt them. Is there a set amount or do they just spawn in? So we're just in the process of killing one type of uh, bee for another. You're done, Peter. A very oh shit, session. that was twenty already? Wow. We got great data. The funny thing is the the controller the looks like a PS2 controller. <laughs> save the lives of about rather than a PS5 one. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. I can't look at Harry while he's talking. Hi. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, hi Miles. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work using protons instead of x-rays with better targeting and less radiation. Okay. All the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. Sure. That's the idea. That that is literally the point. Yes, we know. <laughs> it's cool that Norman is helping out with this though. <laughs> Harry, a moment if you please. Uh any chance it can wait a sec? 
It'll be quick. Okay, so this is gonna be important. Doc, this is my friend Peter. That's Peter, Kurt Dr. Connors, Connors, yeah. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once Makes to sense. consult on electro. So are we gonna get Lizard in this then? Oh. If Dr. Connors is here? Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. Yeah. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. It'd be cool if we got Lizard in this. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Oh wait, we already know about that. In second chance. Oh shit. Hey, listen. Wait, the make a lizard wasn't in the first game, was he? Feel free to explore. I don't think he was. Meet me upstairs when you're ready. Okay. I don't. I don't think he was in the first game. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. I mean, as long as he's, you know, not, um, lizarding out. What's this? Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. <laughs> I wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Probably. After that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. Yeah. This Definitely looks like the same thing. Events. How it ended up here. Okay, so I could just like look around randomly right now. I don't really seem to have any goal. Anything over here? No? Can I talk to people? You guys got anything to say? No? Do the plants have anything so much to say? To see here. Where do I even start? I'm not seeing any little things pop up. I assume I can leave the room. When I ran the last batch, oh, hold on. What's that? It looked like we were on track. Okay, that. Yeah. I was slightly off base. We're over a month behind target. Hey, we're doing good. I see something over here. As much as I can right now. I mean, I am. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. I mean, it really depends on who you ask. There's a lot of different theories on the origin of life and all. A lot of different scientific theories, obviously religious theories. It literally just depends on who you ask. Okay, so it looks like I could probably leave this room. So yeah, there does... Oops, sorry, excuse me. Uh, dude, watch where you're going. I can't leave the path, so I can't walk on the like greenery and stuff. M my dude, did you forget something? You, you literally just stopped and turned around. I mean, I get it, he's on a walk cycle. I understand that. But at the same time... What does this say? Oh, all gender restroom, hell yeah. I, I, I love the inclusiveness of all gender restrooms. Um, for multiple reasons. It's inclusive to people of, like, non-binary genders outside of just the standard binary of male and female. It's, it's a lot more inclusive, and it they're perfectly safe. I've, I've actually used them at uh, the Baltimore Convention Center. They're great. Here every day. And they... It's almost too good to be true. Let's start paying off the mortgage. They're perfectly valid. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Yeah, because Harry doesn't know he's Spider-Man, right? So... Cool fish. Not cool just fish, fish are cool. Research subjects. Want to feed them? Oh hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> it's like not even a question. Come here, little carp. 
Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation. Koi carb, same difference. For research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm. We're finding it very useful for eco friendly roofing materials. Oh, nice. So cool. Yeah, they, like, the, Peter is definitely at home here. This is, a, like, a perfect place for him just for his scientific mind. This place. And just the good it can do. What do we got over here? Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? Eco-friendly bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries charged by bicycles. Okay. These bikes. Can I ride? So the I mean, bikes are kind of eco-friendly right as now, is, but, but when still. Road ready, We'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. But the bikes, I mean, they're still eco-friendly. They are charging up batteries and everything. Oh, hello. Yeah. Miles? Hey. No, Harry. Whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. Up here? I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Up where? Up there? Uh, where's that leading me? Over there? Uh, okay, I want to look around a little bit more first. I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I'm kind of There's fascinated so by this. Explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. No, we can keep Harry waiting. He kept us waiting. Sorry, that's that's a bit dark. <laughs> I, I I apologize for that. Uh, the thing is, I don't know how much else there's left to do around here. Doesn't look like too much. Doesn't look like there's anything back here. I wish I could run. Oh, oh, th that is not what I was trying to do, but okay. So wait, hold on. No, wait, is this, are these blue marks something I can do? There's not really, I, I can't check a map because there's no map of the foundation building. I should get to the second floor to meet up with Harry. Okay, Harry's on the second floor. I know that seems so small, but incremental progress is still good, isn't it? What do we got? Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a lot a of drones in this game. Collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. I mean, that's that's, awesome. that's good. Thanks. Yeah, crop data is important. Okay. Show More bee stuff. And group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Beleaguered? Ah. I'll shut up now. I hate the swarming sounds, you know? The the buzzing is just... Ugh. It, it, it seriously gives me the heebie-jeebies like you wouldn't believe. Especially because I'm wearing headphones. It's just like it's right in my ears. So it's just like, it, it's giving me the willies and sending chills uh, down my body. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. Oh, absolutely. An innovative solution uses 3D printing Yeah, I've heard of this kind of thing, yeah. Custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting-edge work is being put to use, saving lives. I've heard of the kind of thing of, like, 3D printing uh, organs and all. It's an interesting idea. I don't know how much it works, how effective it is, but it's an idea. What do we got? Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. I would not just press oh, buttons. Yeah, take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. 
Yeah, but no just touchy-touchy, Peter. What's this? You're not actually hired here yet. Maybe? wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. No. Fair thought, but no. What they used for Harry's treatment was a little more experimental. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. Maybe? It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your <laughs> Oh, hold on. I have to go out this way. Okay, so I think that's probably everything down here at this point. Welcome to space research. Maybe. I'm just going to assume it is, and we're going to go up. Let's go meet Harry. I seriously wish we could walk faster here. I can zoom in for some reason, but I can't. Do anything to make Peter move faster. Make sure you talk to HR about the referrals on this. Right over here? Yeah. You really have a particle accelerator? I mean that's what the sign said. said. Proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. Yeah, he's not walking with that so cane anymore. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Oh, God. Okay. Terrifying. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying... You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? No. Yeah, what? Think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. I have not so heard of that Dr. in my Foster life. Up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes. That was so great. Oh, interesting that interesting he has dialogue projects. specifying around that and kind of stuff. the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I mean, koi fish are cool. They're really pretty. <laughs> I actually have seen them in real life, too. I went to a Japanese buffet one time that had a koi pond. Which is odd to think this about, way, but still. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah. Peter, I presume. Yeah. Harry talks about you frequently. I still can't look at Harry. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. You are talking. Why can't I look With at the you? There you are. population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Sure. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. And back over to Would you. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to oh, okay, we have a mini optimal game here. qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Okay. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. Oh, hold on. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. So. Can I turn you? Hold on. No, that's not what I want. I cannot turn them. Okay. So, wait. Doesn't blue have to match blue, though? Let's see. Or is that not how this works? Maybe that's not how this works. If I put that there... Interesting. No, that's not going to work. I can put this here, and then this will connect three to three, right? Sure, I guess I did it. <laughs> okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're yeah, the threes have to connect the threes. It's not this about is the a color. Plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly okay. criticized, but Middle. ours are open source. Developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. 
So you have a three on the side. Oh. Okay, so it'll tell me when they can't go into certain places. Okay. Well, that makes it easier. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Uh. No. N yeah, you can work. Because then I can just do this one up here. Beautiful work, Peter. Yeah, I, I, I get the gist of this one. Using this technology, what, what, Harry, Harry, we're what are on you track doing? to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. Uh, okay. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Sure. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteful. I mean, the, the thing said head to office. So it's his office. office. Or is it our office? Ah, okay. Hey, hey, now remember, the things you've seen today So we would share an office if Peter accepts this. We're working on. This we're would be a great place yet. for Not Peter to seen work at and all. Okay. Honestly. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. I literally no had it. False alarm. Right here. Hit Harry. I really think we need Go ahead. Swipe. Oh, right here. For a save the world nonprofit. An Oz Force Space. Wow. Swanky. And there's pizza, hell yeah. And that and it's New York pizza too, so the good stuff. Oh, in the picture, that's sweet. That's sweet. Harry, this is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just, things are really hectic right now. Yeah, just a lot on his plate. I mean, this is being thrust at him really suddenly. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> I mean, probably true, but... Come on. Let's make my mom and Nate proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? Yeah. I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> well, okay, I guess he's accepting. Quick thing. <laughs> wow. You set this whole shit up, okay. <laughs> you dork ass. God, if he is gonna become Venom. I, I'm, I'm gonna need That's gonna be insane. How's that to gonna transition out of my tutoring job? How's that gonna work and all? Of course. Take whatever time you need. I mean obviously we know the symbiote was balance, in his right? healing tank and everything, but like but Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> Everyone's excited. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. 
Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. Okay, so that's another new thing. Think your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Okay, real quick, I want to check out the new suit. Oh, no new suit? Was it new suit styles? It must be styles. Yeah. Oh no, this is new. Oh, we got a new suit for Miles. Okay. Miles Morales 299. Okay. Okay, so we should have uh, enough to get that one now. The spider shock, yeah. L1 to circle to shock enemies with electrified web lines. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like the plan. Okay. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... It's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Yep. Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft oh, that's to the big. Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Okay, so we're gonna still play as Peter for now, which makes sense. I mean, we've uh, we've been playing. We just started playing as Peter again. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm gonna change into a different suit then. So. I kind of want to see what styles the advanced suit has. So this is the typical uh, Insomniac Spider-Man suit. So I kind of want to see the styles. So let's craft this. Oh. We can get the, the, the Venom suit already? Or is that just not being considered the Venom suit? It's, it's basically equivalent. Uh, yeah, the, the, the 299 suit for Miles is like a downgraded version of the sportswear suit, in my opinion. It has the hood, but it just doesn't have the style. I'm, I'm not into, like, the, the futuristic look as much. The little uh, fins on the arm, I don't like at all. And, and, and the colors just don't work for me as well, much. The life story suit I'm also not super fond of. I don't like the helmet. Um, if it didn't have the helmet, it would probably be a lot better. Let's get uh, more Peter stuff. So there's the classic. I, I want to see. Let, let's go with 2099 next. And we do not have enough tech parts for the styles, but we can see a little preview of them there. So there's like a Venom style suit for 2099 as well. Okay. And then we just don't, yeah, we just don't have enough tech parts. Uh, let's go with the advanced suit for now. Um, and I think we're just going to do the normal. Let's actually go like, you know, classic Insomniac Spider-Man. Yeah, that looks good. 